Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to write really, really fast HTML and CSS using the package Emmet. So let's get going on that right now. So now that we have package management in our toolkit, it opens up a world for adding exciting new packages to extend the life of Atom. Now, the first package I want to highlight is Emmet. Now, if you haven't used Emmet in any sort of other situation, uh, what you'll see here is that Emmet essentially just makes writing code much faster. So you'll see it has almost 400,000 installs. So if that's not a good enough reason to check it out, then I don't know what is. Basically, if with installing this here, it's a total time saver with a shorthand syntax allowing you to write HTML and CSS much faster. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to head to Emmet's official website. So we can head to docs.emmet.io. And what I'm looking for here is a cheat sheet for Emmet. If we come in here and we can actually just do slash cheat sheet. You'll see that this is a nice little page for getting started and learning all of the different ins and outs of Emmet here. Now, let's actually just try some of these without looking at the sheet first. I'm going to head to an HTML file and let's say, let's come down here. Let's say you want to have an unordered list with five list items and anchor links inside of that. You could then with Emmet type UL, then you would use a greater than sign to say inside of the UL. Then we say we want list item. Then you use the asterisk to denote times. So we could say uh, list items five times. So what we're going to have here is inside of a unordered list, five list items. Now when we do the greater than sign this time, what it's going to actually say is inside of every single one of those list items. And then we can have an anchor tag. Now let's say we want the anchor tag to have a class of, let's say, social. We can do that just by saying dot social. Now, once this is all here, you can simply just hit tab and be amazed as this entire little snippet gets filled out for you. Now, we also have the ability to put things next to things. Let's say we wanted a span next to each one of these lists items. We can say span tab, and you'll see now that next to each one of these anchor tags is a span. But what if we wanted the span or a div or something else to show up after the unordered list itself? How would you go about doing that when we have the plus here like so? Well, this is where we can add some nice parentheses here. So we can just say parentheses like so and span. Now let's say we want a footer immediately following this unordered list. We can hit tab and actually uh, for some reason, uh, Adam's auto completion was getting in the way. So you might want to have to turn off Adam's auto completion. However, when I backtracked and did it again, you'll notice it puts an honor list and then a footer. Okay, so this is HTML using Emmet. It's really super easy. And as you can see by checking out this cheat sheet, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. So browse through Emmet's documentation to find out every little in and out here. But chances are even just using the little bit elements of it here and there is going to save you a lot of time. Let's actually check out what it does for CSS. Now we can now type things like, let's say inside of our footer, we wanted an overflow hidden. We can just do OH tab and now we see overflow hidden. Likewise, if we wanted a margin, we could say M10 tab gives us a margin 10 pixels. T will give us top, top of 10 pixels, and we can type BG to give us a background. Now, as you can see, these abbreviations are nice. However, there's all sorts of different shorthands and uh, different ways that you can type these things to make them more or less specific or even have more or less values at the end of it. In fact, let's check out if we did DB, you get display block. What you could also do is D colon B and you get display block. Now I'm personally used to using Hayaku in sublime text, which in my opinion has a bit better of fuzzy abbreviations. For instance, PSR will get you position relative in sublime text where PSR in Emmet will give you padding right. 
So if you're used to using something like Hayaku, you'll need to get used to POS for position relative, and then you can change it simply just by typing the position that you actually want. This isn't to say that one's better or worse, it's just whatever you're used to. So again, with Emmet, there are a ton of CSS abbreviations, and you don't necessarily have to memorize all of them, because chances are, if you're thinking about something being correct, right, if you're thinking about BG for background, hit tab, it's most likely going to work. However, in an instance where you can't find what you're looking for, it's nice to have this cheat sheet handy when you're still learning. So this is Emmet for quick and easy HTML and CSS abbreviations that fill out into auto code completion. It's super awesome. I highly recommend it. I've used this plugin back before when it was named Zen. And now with the latest updates in all of the text editors, it's just become more and more amazing. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you want to have early access to the rest of these Atom videos, you can purchase them on the Level Up Tutorials website right now for digital download. As always, this is Scott. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.